everyone, it's Hillary of Creative Faith and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have on my I Want Candy West Coast Planners Candy Shop t-shirt because today I have a vlog for you guys from the West Coast Planners um, Candy Shop Planner Conference. So I went to this in October, mid-October, and I took some pictures and videos throughout the event. I wish I would have taken more, but um, it's just an awesome chance for you guys to see like what is a planner conference, what is it like? So we had kind of different speakers and throughout the day, and we got different prizes throughout the day, and then we also in the evening had some different activities you could participate in. It was so much fun. I made so many new friends, and it was just a really great opportunity for me to interact with people in the planner community and talk about creative faith. So um, I have a bunch of different little clips from some of the different speakers and activities and then make sure you stay to the end of the video because I walk through a flip through of my memory keeping traveler's notebook that I created during, before, during, and after the event. And so you want to make sure that you stick around to see that. So um, stay tuned. Here are the clips from the conference. Coming. I'm Katie. If you haven't met me yet, if I did meet you, I probably don't remember, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> this is Colleen. She doesn't like to talk, but she's a hugger. Um, we would love to welcome you. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Um, I know it's super early. We appreciate it. Um, what else do we have? Where's the say? We're professionals. Excuse me, y'all. Just snapping a picture so I can get a little bit of a warning you. You're in the background of my picture. She's like, you're not a Target planner that I use primarily for work and I did put some of my personal information in there too but like I actually started planning via budget planning um, what I decided on was the happy planner budget extension pack which is that right there that is pretty much what I swear by because if you get I mean it has it has really good information in there it has a section for you to check off if you're um, transactions are wants versus needs. It has a monthly budget template. It has a place to track your expenses, to review your month financially, a place for your notes. It has a monthly view so you can put in paydays and bill dues and all of that stuff. So I really do swear by it, especially because of its price. You can get that extension pack, some discs, and a cover if you choose. You don't have to have a cover, of course. And I mean, I think it's all of like $10 if you use your coupons for Michaels or Hobby Lobby or whatever. And so this is actually how I got started with budget planning and also with planning in general. Oh. So Patreon started as a way to bring back the idea of patrons of the arts. 
the, and so he wanted to find a way where instead of having to have a middleman like YouTube AdSense or something like that, that people could directly support the people who were making things that they loved and they enjoyed. So back in like the Renaissance, the way artists made their living was that they had patrons, people who would give them money so that they could continue to make the artwork that they were making. And that is why it's called Patreon. It's meant to be a way for people to support creators of any sort, whether it's podcasters or YouTube creators or hand lettering artists or people who do bullet journaling or, you know, however, whatever the case may be. And so it's spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N. And so anybody's Patreon is like www.patreon.com slash whatever. Mine's Cindy Good Rivaldo, which was a really stupid idea. <laughs> Since nobody can spell my name. No whole planner <laughs> through and through. I use a large term, which nobody likes because it bleeds through, and I like it because it bleeds through. <laughs> you do. Um, I like a well-used notebook planner or whatever. Whatever you're using, if you're using stickers, if you're using pen, if you're using highlighters, my liners, whatever. I use, I like a well-used planner. Um, and I use a large term, I use about two a year. I deviate, I've tried, I really have tried to deviate and I last maybe a week in something or maybe two weeks in something else and it's just no we're not doing that so I just what I do is see the layouts from the planners that I like and I just emulate them in my notebook there we go for the weeks that I'm like actually trying to plan productively I'm not like harebrained and just have a list um, I have a mossery half planner half bujo yeah um, and that's, I don't think it's a very well-known com com uh, company. And then I have by my bed, like a kind of like a brain dump, even though I ridiculously hate that term. Um, yeah, that, that works better. Um, I have a dingbats notebook, and part of that is that I love them and they're amazing. The other part of that is like some weird loyalty to a Lebanese company that also I walked in to buy one when I was in Lebanon last time and they invited me to tea and I met the president and saw how they were made. So now I'm just like, I uh, got a customer for life. But I actually use both of their stickers and planner a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. She used both of them. Yeah, like Ashley said, I actually sometimes I use a base kit from my shop. I don't really use kits that much. I gravitate towards. Um, I was like, yeah, this looks pretty. Okay, that works. Um, and then I go in and fill it in with pen. So right now I'm just laying down stickers until I figure out that, yep, I overdid it by a few stickers, I'm good. And then I'll go back and fill it in with pen. I actually get overwhelmed by too many <laughs> stickers. It makes me not, uh, I feel, use my planner as productively as I could. For me, I'm more like, okay, I'm gonna list my top three things I need to do every day. And if I get those done, like for me, that's a great day. And then, because I have kids, it's usually like 20 activities, you know, a week that I have to keep track of where I need to go. So, yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm doing with all these stickers. So, <laughs> design day, like, that's my life. And then I, Saturdays, like, my husband and I are, try to always take one day off during the weekend because he works full time, but he helps me with the shop when he's not at work. And so, one day out of the weekend like I'm really trying to give myself a day off and so I put wine tasting on Saturday because that's a hobby of ours um it's a hobby um, <laughs> oh. it helps me do chores yeah, like yeah. You, know, you know it's hard it's hard um no but if you if you look at some of your favorite people that exist in the social media world which is what we're all very familiar with you probably see these adorable illustrations with a beautiful flat lay, and you're like, what's going on? I could never draw this. Mine looks all meh. Well, it doesn't. This is all just like, you get real, real, real. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it can really make or break your doodles, your drawing, anything like that is the size of the tip of the pen that you are using. Because if you take like an 01 or an 03, if you guys know what that means, it's like the tip size of your pen. If you're using like a Micron or the Pigeon Letters Monoline Archival drawing pens that are made for drawing and not made for drafting like Microns, shameless promo. 
Um, then <laughs> you will notice that if you use too small of a tip for an illustration this big or doodle this big, it probably doesn't look right. It probably looks kind of unfinished and you probably think you did a crap job. You didn't. It's the size of the tip of the pen. I'm going to make it transform. Okay, look. He's got his little eye. And he's got his dumb mouth. <laughs> Doesn't he look better with his dumb mouth? enjoyed that little vlog about some clips and things from the West Coast Planners Candy Shop Conference. I love watching Amy Tangerine's uh, planner conference videos and she always ends them with a little flip through of her traveler's notebook and so I thought I would do the same. Um, one thing I did want to show you guys is just a quick little setup. This was one of the swag prizes that we got. Um, I added these little planner charms that I received and I haven't filled or done any of this but each of the little workshops we got had an insert and so I have lots of space to play and try out different things now so I did want to just do a really quick flip through of this and it is from 1407 planners and so I loved that we got this I thought that was a really cool memory keeping thing uh, but this is the one that I made. I do have a video where I walk through um, what I brought to the planner conference and I'll link that in the description box below. And I also have a video where I um, talk about all of the swag and prizes and gifts and things I purchased. So I'll link that down below too. So this is my traveler's notebook. It has lots of beautiful charms and goodies hanging off the top. This card came from my shop, actually from my blog. It's a freebie and, and I will link that blog post down below. But you get four free fall journaling cards. And then I embossed the cover. I added, I cut up the program because the program didn't fit in this size and it did not fit in this size. And so I decided to cut it up instead of trying to save it or put it in one of these. And so I have, I added this little West Coast planners from the front of the, what do you call it? Program. <laughs> and then I have this planner girl. And um, if you guys want to see more about how I did this, be sure to watch that other video about what I brought. And a couple little flipping tip ups. And then this page are shops that I discovered when I was there. I added their little business cards 
and so it's kind of a fun little <laughs> tip in after tip in. I thought this is, would be a really neat way to save and document all of those and then the different from the different washi tapes that we got or I bought and got introduced to the plum paper planner hippie goth and these were from some little baby notebooks that we got here i cut out the page that had all the candy shop vendors and i put them down here so i could remember which vendors were there and then this is the schedule and so you'll see i just cut it or folded it in half to fit into my notebook and then this was a little goodie that someone gave GZ Blessings on Instagram. And so I wanted to make sure to include that in here. And this is a vinyl decal that someone gave me. And then here are my notes from the different sessions. So the first one was from Shea Budgets. And I took a lot of notes there and then decorated them with little stickers. And then next we talked about Patreon. We had a Patreon panel and I took a lot of notes there too. And then we had Sweet Tarts Plan Your Way and these were the three shop owners who participated in that. Cricut Paper Co., More Avenue, and Sunshine Sticker Co. Next we had a doodling workshop from Pigeon Peggy from the Pigeon Letters. She was hilarious. And then I added this little sweet treats tag on the top or on the back side. And then we get to my new friends section. And so I had cut or printed and cut out all the little pictures I took. This is my table mates. And um, a fun little tip in. Another lady that I met when I was there. Such a perfect day. Glad I spent it with you. And then I had all my table mates write a little note in here. Kind of like yearbook. And I love how that turned out. I'm back. <laughs> so I had all of my table mates sign here and like a yearbook like I said and I just love how that turned out. And then I got some other little cards from people and so I wanted to document those in here. And then we had a really fun photo booth and so I wanted to glue those in and then I made this little tip up with a picture of my friend and I. And then here's another one in the photo booth. Um, printouts and then I have a little clear pocket from Target back here and I put some all goodies from the event back here too so there is a flip through of my candy shop traveler's notebook it's awesome to have it done and it's all chunky and beautiful and documents such a fun day that I had so um thank you guys so much for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my videos and also give this video a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below what did you think have you ever attended a planner conference before if so what was it like I would love to hear from you. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.